Praise the Lord. Beloved, I trust that all is well with you and your household. So today we are continuing the studies on the book of Kings. And we are studying 1 Kings chapter 10. Beloved, in the previous study, we learned from 1 Kings chapter 9 that after King Solomon had dedicated the temple he built to God and had made sacrifices unto the Lord, the Lord God spoke to him and reassured him that he has heard all of his prayers. And God promised Solomon that if he continues to walk in his ways, his descendants will always be on the throne of Israel. But God also warned Solomon of the consequences of drifting away from him. And in today's study, 1 Kings chapter 10 says that the queen of the land of Sheba heard of the fame of King Solomon and of his knowledge about the Lord God Almighty. So she came to Solomon to test him with difficult questions. The Bible says that she brought with her a large group of attendants as well as camels loaded with spices, jewels, and a large amount of gold. And the Bible says that when she and King Solomon met, she asked him all the difficult questions that she could think of, and King Solomon answered them all. There was nothing too difficult for King Solomon to explain. So when the queen of Sheba heard King Solomon's wisdom and saw the wonderful, magnificent palace he had built and the food that was served on his table, how organized his palace staff were and the uniforms they wore and the sacrifices that King Solomon offered to God in the temple, the Bible says that it left her breathless and amazed. And so the queen of Sheba said to King Solomon, what I heard in my own country about you and your wisdom is true, but I couldn't believe it until I had come and seen it all for myself. But I didn't hear even half of it. Your wisdom and wealth are much greater than what I was told. How fortunate are your wives and how fortunate your servants who are always in your presence and are privileged to hear your wise sayings. Praise the Lord your God. He has shown how pleased he is with you by making you king of Israel. Because his love for Israel is eternal, he has made you their king so that you can maintain law and justice. So after the queen of Sheba had expressed her amazement, the Bible says that she presented the gifts she had brought to King Solomon. A large amount of gold and a very large amount of spices and jewels. No one had ever given the amount of spices she presented to King Solomon. And so King Solomon also returned her favor and gave her generously out of the abundance of his riches. And he also gave the Queen of Sheba everything she requested for. And after this, the Bible says that the Queen of Sheba returned to her own country. Beloved, in the days of King Solomon, there was no means of easy transport like cars, trains, or aeroplanes. Yet, the Queen of Sheba willingly journeyed without the comfort of what we now have, just to go and listen to the wisdom of God from King Solomon. The Queen of Sheba's visit reveals how fortunate and blessed we are because in our generation, the wisdom of God and one who is greater than King Solomon, Jesus Christ, has made himself known to us. 
and he has given us the opportunity to receive him in our hearts. For those who will receive Jesus Christ, who is the wisdom of God, God has promised them in John chapter 1 verse 12 that he will give them the power to become children of God and he will also let them to inherit eternal life. But to those who refuse to make Jesus Christ their Lord, Jesus says to them in Matthew chapter 12 verse 42 that the queen of Sheba will rise up on judgment day to accuse them because she traveled all the way from her country to listen to King Solomon's wise teachings. But they have refused to listen to Jesus Christ, who is greater than Solomon. Beloved, Jesus Christ, the one who is greater in wisdom than Solomon is here. You do not have to travel in search of him. Just receive him in your heart and call unto him anywhere, anytime, and any place. And he will show you great and mighty things which you do not know. So, beloved, reading on the second part of 1 Kings chapter 10 from verses 18 to 29 lists the great wealth of King Solomon. The Bible says that each year he received large amounts of gold and he also received taxes of the nations that were subject to him. The Bible says that his majestic throne was made with pure gold and ivory and all the drinking cups in his palace and all the objects and items in his palace were also made with pure gold. And 1 Kings chapter 10 ends by saying that King Solomon was richer and wiser than any other king. Everyone in the world wanted to come to him and listen to the wisdom that God had given him. And everyone who came to him brought him gifts, articles of gold and silver, weapons, spices, robes, horses, and this continued year after year. Beloved, this is the fulfillment of the promise that God made to King Solomon in 1 Kings chapter 3. When King Solomon asked God to give him wisdom to rule the people of Israel, God was so pleased with Solomon and said to him that he would grant him the wisdom and also give to Solomon what he had not asked for, and that is riches and fame. So everything that God promises Solomon comes true. God gave him wisdom which made him famous and attracted people to bring him their wealth. Solomon also used his wisdom to do business with other nations by importing gold with his ships, which brought him great wealth. And the Bible says that King Solomon was greater in riches and in wisdom than all the kings of the earth. Even kings and queens came to hear the wisdom of Solomon and to see his wealth. And all this served as a testimony of the blessing of God on King Solomon. Beloved, Genesis chapter 12 verse 3 says that God blesses us so that we can also be a blessing. Solomon knew that God had blessed him with wisdom, and so he used the wisdom that God had blessed him with to also be a blessing to other people. He used the God-given wisdom to give sound judgment and settle disputes to bring peace to the people of Israel. Beloved, how has the Lord blessed you? 
Are you using your gift to bless others? Remember that everything you have is from God. So think on ways in which you can share the blessings God has given you with the people around you. So, beloved, the two main lessons we learn about the visit of the Queen of Sheba is that the Queen of Sheba is a picture of a person who hears about Jesus Christ and leaves everything they are doing to go and search for Jesus Christ through the scriptures and find all their questions answered. And just like the Queen of Sheba brought hard questions for King Solomon to answer them, when you bring your difficulties to Jesus Christ, beloved, he will answer them and give you solutions to all your problems. So, beloved, this brings us to the end of today's study. I trust that you have been blessed by the word of God. Please join me again next time. And let us find out in the next chapter if King Solomon continues to be faithful to the Lord his God. And so, beloved, until we meet again, stay blessed.